Hi, this is Don. I just want to go very quickly over some problems that you may or may not see on uh, quizzes and exams. This is from Chapter 5, uh, which we're learning about the normal uh, distribution curve and how to solve problems doing that. This first problem says we've got a survey of men in the age 20 to 29 and the heights were normally distributed with a mean of 67.6 inches and a standard deviation of 3.0. So that, that's two important pieces of information. Remember if we've got the mean and the standard deviation we can describe the normal distribution uh, for that particular population. First question is find the probability that the study participant has a height less than 66 inches. Let's call up StatCrunch. I've already got it open here and let me just close that for a second. Remember we go to Stat, Calculators, Normal, bring up our little dialog box which draws the the curve which I highly recommend that you always do. In this case it comes up as the standard normal with the mean of 0 and 1 but we want a specific normal distribution mean of 67.6 standard deviation of 3 and the first part find the probability that the participant has a height less than 66 so I'm going to put 66 in there make sure my less than or equal is pointed to the left which we want um, that end of the curve click compute and we get a probability of 0.2969 which is the answer they want there that's the area in red again 29.7 percent uh, chance that a person would be less than 66 inches high if the mean is 67.6 inches with a standard deviation of 3. Okay, let's go down to the next question. Find the probability that a participant has a height between 66 and 71. And again, our calculator will knock that out pretty quickly. We're going to click on the between option and we leave our mean and standard deviation the just as it is and we want me go down 66 and 71 so between 66 71 click compute and we get a area under the curve there of 0.5746 let's see if that's the answer yep that's what they've got that's the probability that someone would be between those two heights the last question is find the probability of a participant having a height more than 71. So let's go back to our standard size. We're going to put 71. We want the greater than symbol pointing to the right because we want the area to the right, the percentage of people that were taller than 71 inches or the probability, and that's 0 0.1285 which I think is, yes, that's the answer they have, 0.1825. And while I'm here, I just remind you that if you're getting a question that is asking you about percentages of people scoring higher or percentages scoring lower, you just convert that into a percentage. In this case, you could say 12.85% of the people were taller than 71. And if I reversed it there, you would say, this person is taller than 87.15% of the people. So that's how you use it to solve that problem pretty quickly. Let's go on to the next problem this person missed. And it says, assume the random variable X has a normally di distribution with a mean of 81, standard deviation of 4, find the indicated probability, the probability of X less than 75. So I'm going to call up our calculator again. And this time we need to put a mean in there of 81, standard deviation of 4, and the question is 75, and we want less than, remember that's pointing to the left, so we want less than, click on that, and we get a probability in that left tail, and that's the nice sketch again, of 0 0.0668, 
which is the answer they asked for in this question. The last question this person had problem with has to do with our good old SAT question. And they give us a mean reading score of 502 with a standard deviation of 113. Assume it's normally distributed. What percent, see there I said that percent questions, of the SAT scores are less than 650? So let's call up our calculator again. This time we put in the mean of 502 and the standard deviation of 113. And what percent of the scores are less than 650? Six, whoops, 650, less than, I want everything to the left. And it's 90.48% uh, would be expected, whoops, would be expected to score less than 650. That's most of the people. Okay, the next one, a little bit trickier. They say if you've got a thousand SAT scores, which is nice, how many would you expect to be greater than 525? So I'm going to put 525 in there. Click in the greater than symbol, which means, again, I want everything on the right side of 525. And that gives me a probability of 0.419. And if you multiply 0.419 times 1,000, you would get 419 people would be expected to score greater than 525. And, and if they gave you something different than 1,000, again, just use your little calculator to multiply that 0.419 times whatever that value. And I'm pretty sure, yep, 419 is the answer to that. So that's how you can use this calculator very quickly to solve these problems. If you're not talking while you're doing it, you can doing it faster. So I hope you get some help from that. <music>